in this video we're going to make a very simple DIY serum serum uh, there are two types of serum there's oil serum and there's a gel serum and there's other another type that's not too common is the water serum just it's going to be watery but the one I'm going to show you today it's going to be gel serum um, very very simple thing that I'll be using today you can substitute it with what you have at home you can be more creative with it. I'm going to make a papaya serum I'm going to be using a papaya powder powder to make a serum a very simple um, papaya is you know a good good uh, product in that it has a lot of uh, papain papain is a good you know enzyme that will that, that has a lot of antioxidant -ox function so I'm going to be using that. Then I will use xanthan gum to turn it into gel. Then I will use glycerin. Okay, very important. And also, finally, I'm going to use uh, a preservative. If you want to make your serum and you don't have a preservative, we can still make it, but just make sure you keep it in the fridge and use it within a week. But if you have your uh, preservative, you can keep it out of the fridge, okay? So, the first thing you want to do when making a serum is to a gel serum is to blend your xanthan gum with glycerin so i'm going to be using the xanthan gum at 0 0.3 percent so i'm going to weigh my xanthan gum 0 0.3 gram sorry about that so 0 0.3 gram of xanthan gum and i'm going to add three grams of glycerin to that Then I'm going to mix them to get both together. I'm using a stirring rod to mix this together. The essence of adding glycerin to xanthan gum is to dissolve the particle of the xanthan gum. So once you add your glycerin to xanthan gum, then I'm going to add water. I use the, my distilled water here at 95.4 grams. So I will add 95.4 grams of distilled water. Now you're going to mix that very well. Next I want to do now is to take another little beaker and add my papaya powder to it. You can use any other powder form you have. You can even use a coconut powder to make a, a serum. Okay, it's just you follow the same procedure. I'm going to measure 0 0.5 gram of papaya powder. For a link to the small scale I use for this video, look in the description box below. It's very good, especially when you're making small amounts of skincare product at home. It's really going to help. So you measure that then you're going to add a little bit of water to that to dissolve it so you can take some water from your from your distilled water so I'm going to add five grams of water to my and I'm going to mix that very well Mix that very well, then you can now add it. To further help with your mixing, you can use this type of uh, mix froster, okay? I have a link in it. You need it, especially when you're making your product at home. You need a mix froster to be able to mix your product very well. It really helps with mixing. So I'm using that now to to further reduce the particle and mix this uh, very well. So 
So once I'm done mixing, then you're going to add that directly into this blend. Then you mix it well. As you can see, it has changed color because the papaya is a uh, is brown the papaya brown that is, is brown so it has changed color that's perfect and that's your serum that's your serum right there as you can see it's gel it looks jelly because i use xanthan gum okay very simple to make very simple to make now if you are going to keep this in the fridge we don't we may not necessarily use a a preservative but if you are keeping in the if you are not keeping in the fridge you should use a broad spectrum preservative because you use water when you use water make sure you use a broad press spectrum i'm using geocardicity for this at one gram so once you are done mixing that all you have to do is just mix it well and pour it inside inside your beaker or anything you want to use to store it and this is my beautiful papaya serum yes that's it you can use this that's our beautiful papaya serum serum where uh, ask me how do I use the serum? Serum are very good. They help to, uh, for easy penetration of active in your skin. So basically you can use a serum when you are done washing your face and toning your face. You can use a serum before you use your face, uh, face moisturizer. Okay. Uh, that's about it for this video. If you have any question about making your own serum or making any other skincare product, this is a channel for you. Uh, click that subscribe button and notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to learn more about making skincare, this is a channel to, to, to come to visit every week. I upload videos uh, several times every week. So click that subscribe button, notification icon. Also, if you know a bit about formulation, you want to upgrade your formulation skill, head over to naturalskincareschool.com for our in-house formula and step-by-step -step formulation guide for making products to sell. Thank you so much for watching everyone.